Leonard Kibugi is a contractor in Nairobi. For seven years, he had been looking for ways to develop his land in the outskirts of Nairobi, but high costs of building materials deterred him. Then he came across the expanded polystyrene panels, commonly referred to as EPS, and since then has not looked back. Number one was time, because we were very pressed for time. We needed to do this building uh, in two to three months. And if we went uh, in the traditional way, we could have used a lot of time. So one is time, and number two was savings uh, on costs, building costs. An initiative of the National Housing Corporation, a state-run body, the government has set up a factory in Machakos County where the panels are produced. This is a way of helping to bridge the housing shortfall that the urban areas of Kenya, in particular Nairobi, are currently experiencing. We looked at what we've been able to accomplish as a corporation since our inception and realized that uh, with time, the demand for housing is upstripping our ability to supply the houses. So we looked for alternatives, ways of building houses faster, ways of getting affordable housing, and we settled on this technology after exploring various options. What are some of the factors driving demand for affordable yet durable housing? We have a lot of urbanization. We have uh, so many more people entering that age bracket that now requires housing. So there's a youth bulge. And then um, the other thing is that there's also the realization that a lot more Kenyans are entering into the middle income bracket where they can then now aspire to own homes. But given their income earning levels, and given that most of them are in the SME sector, then the need is really for that low cost or affordable housing. Traditional brick and mortar has been the preferred material of choice for construction. However, expanded polystyrene panels are gaining popularity. Looking at how the demand has grown, let me say from January this year, it's basically been doubling every month to the point that uh, as we speak, the, our demand that we have now for the panels compared to January is close to five to six times. So I would say it is growing. The perception is, is changing uh, towards uh, acceptance of this technology. Time and cost saving measures are critical in construction. And according to the supporters of this innovation, EPS has helped save on both. I would say uh, 25 percent because we have actually saved a lot on labor. Labor is quite expensive. Eh? So if you put up a building in three months, eh, like these guys, I pay them here 10,000 per day. So if you do the math, you can see that if you do a building in six months, paying them 10,000, you do another building uh, two months, you have four months saving. So four months by 10,000, you can see the match of money that you can save. Key advantages that we look at when we're using the panels, one is speed. In terms of construction time, you'll be looking at saving 50% of the normal time it would take you to finish any other project. Whether it's a single house or it's a, a thousand uh, house project, this will save you 50% of the time. Now, in terms of costs, we're looking up to 30%. But key to achieving the 30% is that you should be able, or as a developer, or as a contractor, put in place some very specific things right from the beginning. Experts also advocate for the creation of infrastructure networks that will enable more Kenyans to own homes at affordable prices. In terms of the one, some of the factors that really would affect how affordable houses, you're thinking about, you know, cost of infrastructure in a housing project is about 20 to 30 percent. So if you can have the government coming in to give service land to developers, then we can begin to, to think through that and have more affordable homes. When asked if he would recommend the expanded polystyrene panels for construction, Leonard had this to say. I would recommend it very much. Because apart from uh, saving on uh, time and money, uh, it is a very sturdy uh, kind of construction in terms of strength because these panels are very cheap, uh, are very light, okay, in terms of weight. Now, this, this uh, mesh, the mesh that you see 
Once we do the shortcut plaster on it, it makes small micro columns, making the building to be uh, well very strong. And on top of it, eh, the building is soundproof, the building is fireproof, and then you have got one monolithic structure.